a lot of the attacks that I endured over the last 11 months. primarily a lot of Backstreet Boys fanatics. One in particular who doesn't claim to be a fan, but clearly is a fan. I did a brave thing by writing in a very detailed blog um, the night in which I was assaulted, sexually assaulted. These women did everything they could to I guess tried to prove that I am a liar. I'm not a liar. This one particular YouTube, her entire demeanor to me is incredibly catty, soulless, delusional. You know who you are. You've tried to contact me and my family numerous times, which we have refused to engage with you. She has grown her channel based off of disseminating lies and false information. I've had a few people reach out to me asking me to answer some of the some of the additional details that this YouTuber has put out into the cyber world of what happened the night that I was assaulted. The detailed account that this YouTuber has put out is so erroneous and so false that I don't even know how to address some of the questions because a lot of the details that she asserted herself are never happened. I really did for a moment think that, okay, I will, I will address some of the questions. One particular detail especially to me was disgusting, was the insertion of a condom, whether or not a condom was used. It would make sense to use a condom when you're having consensual sex. No consensual sex was had. I was raped. Who rapes with them on? And the fact that I'm even being questioned about this particular detail to me is sick. I think that those who care about it are greatly disturbed. And I want to encourage you to go see a therapist and seek mental health. I just want you guys to really think about whether or not this person was really telling you guys real stuff, which she wasn't, or if she was manipulating you guys and using you guys to grow her numbers. If I were you guys, I'd go back to her and I would I'd demand proof. Is this turning into a trend on YouTube? For those of you who watch YouTube, who are engaged in YouTube, who, who are watching kind of how people's channels are growing, are is, is this sort of malicious sort of content uh, becoming more and more popular and growing more rapidly? Because I don't believe that anybody should be supporting a channel that is essentially attacking and slandering somebody. I don't care who you think you are. I don't care what information you think that you have unfolded. When you're talking about somebody, a real person, I'm a real person with a real life, with real family, and you're going to go and attack me as viciously as you have and claim that the man who assaulted me when I was 18 years old that somehow him and his family or a source close to him is giving you permission to disseminate this information. It's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong, and it shouldn't be tolerated. And I feel like we live in a time with the Me Too movement and many survivors of all kinds of injustice and abuse are finally speaking out that 
your example is dangerous. It is concerning. It is disgusting. And I don't want people following in your footsteps. I've been threatened with alleged emails of me bragging about having sex with my abuser multiple times. That made its rounds around the internet. Never happened. And to all the people involved at his side too, you guys are terrible people. Terrible what you guys have done. I mean, I, I don't even know. It's like people collecting evidence and then filling in the gaps with their own narrative. That's all you guys did. If my testimony was falsified, if I lied, how stupid could I have been to go to the police? and file a police report. Don't you think, don't you think that the detective on the case and other people attached to the case who interviewed witnesses would have been able to say this is unfounded?